Happy New Year. I'm George Whipple. As the ball dropped on Saturday night and landed on Sunday morning, we welcomed 2023. We also welcomed a host of new employment laws that became effective across the country on January 1st. Here at Employment Law This Week, we're ringing in the new year by taking a look at what those brand new laws might tell us about key trends this year. Topping the list, pay transparency. Amid a tight labor market and increasing concern over pay equity, several states began the year by expanding existing pay transparency regulations and requirements. Effective January 1st, employers in California, Washington State, and Rhode Island must comply with new regulations that require employers to include salary ranges in all or some job postings. This comes on the heels of similar requirements from other large jurisdictions, most notably New York City. We expect other jurisdictions to follow suit this year. The COVID pandemic disrupted the way we think about leave in the workplace. As we continue to transition to the new normal, this is translated into new paid leave and time off requirements. California and Illinois expanded bereavement leave obligations for employers, and New York expanded paid family leave to include siblings, all effective January 1st. Employers in Colorado must now comply with new leave requirements under the state-run family program, which was fully implemented January 1st. And Rhode Island employers are now required to offer six weeks of paid caregiver benefits. Employers should check with their insurance carriers and local jurisdictions to remain in compliance with new leave requirements. And we'll keep an eye out for more adjustments throughout the year. The new year also brought an increased focus on discrimination and harassment in the workplace. California expanded its Fair Employment and Housing Act to include reproductive health decision-making as a protected category, prohibiting discrimination, harassment, and retaliation based on reproductive health decisions. Illinois' Crown Act expands the definition of race under the Illinois Human Rights Law to include traits historically associated with race, like natural hairstyles. 18 states have now passed some form of the Crown Act prohibiting hairstyle discrimination. Employers are also facing continued scrutiny around discrimination and harassment settlements, including the use of non-disclosure provisions, and new regulations targeting bias in automated decision-making tools. For up-to-the-minute news and analysis on all the specific issues related to your business, I encourage you to sign up for Epstein Becker Green's daily content at ebglaw.com slash subscribe. Here's wishing you and yours a happy new year and a healthy and prosperous 2023. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>